Hello once again, welcome back to this online class. In previous video, we discussed about the representation of geographical features. Those who have not watched complete video, please do watch it. Then you will be able to understand this continuation of this lesson. In this video, we shall discuss about interpreting contours on topo sheet through contour lines how to understand the topo sheet the height of the place shape of any mountains or any physical features how to understand it so the topographical maps are comprising of the visible landscape which includes physical features and man-made features and the topographical maps are drawn in three-dimensional physical features and they are represented by means of contours and shown by means of conventional signs and symbols. In that way, we understand the interpretation of topographical map. When we want to interpret, when we want to understand the topo sheet, we need to learn the conventional signs and the symbols. Then only we will be able to understand the meaning of the topographical map, what it is telling. Now let us understand what is meaning of contours, how the contours are drawn. Contours are drawn in brown line. Any physical features cannot be drawn on the map. So with the help of contour lines, the shape and the height of the physical features, let's say hill or mountain is drawn. So what are these contour lines? The line which joining all the places which are at the same height above main sea level. The lines joining all places which are at same height above main sea level. So contour lines are the lines which join having the same height from the mean sea level. You can see index colors. So there are the basic information that is given on the topographical map. The scale is always 1 is to 50,000 centimeter. The ratio of the scale is always it will be mentioned below the topo sheet or along with the scale that is uh, written or printed. So it will be 1 is to 50,000 centimeter. That means 1 centimeter on the map will be having the same 50,000 centimeter on the ground. The ratio of that, okay. Again we have the contour lines are drawn with an interval of 20 meter. That means after 20 meter of gap, one contour line will be drawn. So that is how we say vertical interval or contour interval. What are the essentials of contouring? How importance is essential of contouring? You can see there is uh, before that contour index contours that means as we know that it is uh, 1 is to 50,000 is the scale of the contour lines, uh, the scale of the uh, topographical map and the vertical interval is always remaining 20 meter. After each 20 meter of gap or 20 meter of height, one contour line is drawn. But the contour lines in the topographical maps, one finds the heights shown as 100 meter. It can be shown as 100 meter to make the contour maps distinct, that much, not that much congested or distinct means clean, neat and clean, clear. Every fifth line in multiple of 20 meter is accented as, accented as shown in the picture you could see and this is called index color. That means 
after fifth line 20 40 60 80 and then comes 100 so each interval will be a 20 meter but to make it more distinct to make it more vivid clear the contours may be drawn on the topographical map with interval of 100 meters so that is mean to say that you can see every 100 meters the contour line will be bit highlighted brighter than the other contour lines the index contour you can see the next one is essential of contouring how do you understand the slope of the landscape a slope of the land the slope of the land is determined by spacing through space because we know that the physical features cannot be drawn on the topographical map only contour lines will be drawn how we understand that that physical uh, area or that uh, region is the lowland area or highland area or which shape of the hills are located there which shape of the mountains are present there so let us understand to that it is spacing is the main uh, essential of this contouring you can see when i have drawn the contour lines the lines which are joining all the places having the same height from the mean sea level 100 meter 200 meter 300 meter 400 meter 500 meter and 600 meter you could see this side the lines are very close to each other they are not having any much gap so by this we understand that this area is having steep slope the lines which are close to each other the contour lines are close very close to each other that means it is having the steep slope of the landscape or the steep slope of the hill or mountains and this area which will be having the far away from each other you can see the spacing of the contours are far away from each other when you compare with this side of the contour spacing so this far spacing of these contours telling the meaning that this area is gentle slope all right so the landscape or the mountains will be actually likewise it is steep slope is there and this side is there gentle slope so in that way you will be able to understand any shape of any land or any hills the height of that with the help of contour lines remember that closer the contour lines steeper the slope of the land and the farther away from the each other of these contour lines the gentle slope of the land will be there and there is if the contour lines are uniform both the side the same contour uh, gaps are there spacing is not having a difference between this side is close this side is very far away if it is having uniform both the side that means it is a conical hill is there conical means shape of the height of the hill is uniform in all around you can see it is the conical hill is there is it clear thank you for watching this video so patiently i hope you understood something about the contour lines any doubt any queries please do ask in whatsapp and please be in touch with me always and ask doubt maintain the notes that is been given on the board or from the textbook can mean i will be giving a pdf of those notes so don't worry about this but when you revise when you read the chapter please do highlight and underline the keywords Thank you so much. Have a nice day. God bless you.